Bill Tom Rose, and there's two major errors here in this sentence. Um, in the case of the first two options, we have the pronoun they, which is one of a very common set of pronouns used in errors on the SAT. Um, the they here, the problem with this is that it's ambiguous. Um, for example, we have in the original sentence, we have it's very difficult for some older people to comprehend the incredible speed of, and we have another possible um, referent for this pronoun, new technologies. Now, the they is a pronoun which must stand in for another noun, and we have two nouns that it could be referring back to. Um, it's not enough in grammar for you to be able to understand the author's intention when it comes to pronouns. When it comes to pronouns, it must be clear what the pronoun refers to regardless of context. So the they here, since it could refer to older people or new technologies, um, is ambiguous and is considered wrong. Okay, the, the answer choice that fixes this is the, is the third one. Um, there's actually no pronoun. It just skips from technologies and then there's a modifier that have become increasingly pervasive. And this is a great modifier um, for technologies and this is gonna end up being your correct answer. Now, the last two actually have a conjunction. We have a comma and. Um, after our comma and here, you could, you could label this as a punctuation error, I guess, um, if you could say that this conjunction is incorrect. Um, it's possible that, the con that this um, conjunction is semi-correct, but it would be wrong for another reason, which is um, since there's no subject after the conjunction, we just, we have have become. This have become needs to refer back to the original subject, which is older people. So you wouldn't say older people have become increasingly pervasive. And the same thing um, is happening in the last one. It says older people increasingly becoming pervasive. Both of those are wrong either, wrong also. So either this is a punctuation error, or you could call this a, um, a meaning problem. Either or.